Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 891. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 890 to 895, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to talk about dynamic subtotals. Now here's a little table, and there's a great feature called subtotals on the data ribbon, but I don't know how to make it dynamic. I don't know how to do the subtotals and then add new records. So I'm going to do it over to the side. I have this little table with each region in product, all the possibilities, and then we're just going to create a formula that looks over here. However, we're going to convert this from a ta from um, some data entered with field names and records to an official Excel table or list. And that will create the dynamic range that the formula can understand. So every time we add new records, these will update. Now you click in a single cell, field names at the top, records in rows, blanks, all the way around, or row headers or column headers, single cell. And in 2003, you use Control L to convert it to a list. In 2007 and 10, you use Control T. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to use the sum ifs function to add with two criteria. So west 1, I need the formula to go through. And every time it finds a west and a 1 to take that number, West 1, take that number. So the total should be 28 for West 1. No problem, sum ifs do, does that perfectly. If you only have one criteria, you can use sum if or sum ifs. Sum ifs is more polite, the screen tip. It's easier to understand. It says, hey, where's the sum range? Now notice um, this is called table formula nomenclature. That is a built in feature. That's uh, it's always going to look at table 2 and the sales column, no matter how many records we add. So that's the sum range. Criteria range, well, the first one is this. Oh, look at that, table 2 region, comma, criteria, relative cell reference, comma, criteria range 2, product, comma, and criteria 2. And that's it. Control-Enter. And copy down. Now to add new records, you can either come to the end and hit the last cell diagonally for this from the, the first field name and tab, or you can simply add records. West yes. 1, uh, 22. And so now it's updating. Look at that. All right, dynamic subtotals using the table feature and some if. See you next video.